And of course, it was badly bombed here. It was. Can you remember bombs? Oh, down? definitely. My brother and I used to sleep underneath the kitchen, t the kitchen table. Yeah. And uh, Dad done the coal cellar out. Yeah. Whitewashed it. it wasn't motion then. And the bombs were dropping then in Park Road North. Very poignant to me is is the. Um, the Park Road bombing, Park Road North. Now this was South Acton Estate and um, it was unusual because actually it was after the Blitz and before the Doodlebugs and it was a very big bomb explosion in uh, May 1943 when not many bombs were falling. All our windows caved in and the top of Park Road North is Park Road East, mm. and that used to be a dairy, mm. and Mr and Mrs Lewis was killed by a bomb there. Right. It destroyed the Gladstone Public House, a street corner dairy, five other shops and four houses. That's a big bomb <laughs> to do that, you know, it wasn't just one in the house or whatever. Um, and another 80 houses were made uninhabitable. So, I mean, you know, that really was quite devastating. There were some very good photos of it, and the reason that there were very good photos was the government actually investigated it because they thought they must have had some inkling that Hitler was developing a new weapon, and so they thought this was a new type of bomb. In the end, they concluded it was just a lot of very high explosive, traditional explosive. And, um, and in this road, or Saints Road, halfway up, to the uh, main road, mm. the main road is Bollow Bridge Road. Yeah. My brother in law lived there, mm. and a bomb dropped in their garden. Wow. Yeah, it was the bombs dropped heavily, this was bombed heavily. Yeah, do you remember the sirens going off? Oh, definitely, it used to go off religiously. Unfortunately, it's very hard to find out the casualties because during the war. They weren't recorded by the ARP wardens, they just recorded the damage to property. And in the newspaper, they sort of glossed over them a bit because, I suppose for obvious reasons, they didn't want to demoralise the population, you know. They, were, they had to hide up where these bombings were so the Germans didn't know, you know, um, mm. precisely where they'd been hit. Mm. Um, so we don't know how many it killed, but it was obviously pretty devastating.